Hello guys, in today's video we are going to learn about a family of algorithms that offers faster guaranteed runtimes but unguaranteed correctness. This family of randomized algorithms, named after the European gambling city Monte Carlo. There are numerous famous revolutionary Monte Carlo algorithms. One of them is the Miller-Rabin algorithm for numbers primality testings. Today, however, we are going to talk about the Monte Carlo algorithm that checks if multiplication of two given matrices equals to the third given matrix. But before getting into the action, let's match our expectations. I'm starting this topic by myself, and my videos depend on the wisdom of the crowd, a topic that really fascinates me. Therefore, if you find any mistake in what I say, please let me know in the comment section below. I promise to read all comments and re-upload if necessary. Also, please subscribe to my channel, I tend to upload many videos on this topic. Alrighty, but before talking about the algorithm though, let's talk about some terms. Alrighty, Monte Carlo algorithms. So we'll start with some terms. Here they are. False positive. A term that describes algorithms that might return true on input which the right answer regarding it is actually false. When a false positive algorithm returns false however, we can be sure that the output is accurate. Next one. False negative. A term that describes algorithms that might return false on input which the right answer regarding it is actually true. When a false negative algorithm returns true, however, we can be sure the output is accurate. Amplifying the probability. When it is known that an algorithm is false positive or false negative, we may want to increase the probability that the algorithm is correct. We can do so by repeating it independently multiple times there is a higher chance of getting a false in false positive algorithms or true in false negative algorithms and get a certain result therefore. And if we go true in all runs of a false positive algorithm, false negative algorithm I mean, we can return that, that output with more confidence. High probability guarantee. When an algorithm is correct, with a probability of 1 minus 1 divided by n to the power of some alpha. When alpha is larger or equal to 1, we would say that the algorithm has high probability guarantee. Verify binary matrix multiplication Monte Carlo false negative algorithm. Given three matrices of the size n times n, a, b, and c. We want to check if a multiplied by b equals c. Using a noon randomized algorithm is going to take a long time. We would introduce an algorithm which its runtime is o n to the power of 2 and after amplifying o n to the power of 2 multiply by log n. The algorithm picks a random vector multiply by the two matrices and checks if the production is equal to multiplying the vector in the third matrix. Here it is. So the first line is generate a random vector v of binary bits. Second line into the vector vb put b multiply the matrix the I mean multiply by the randomized vector v. On the third line we are doing vab and we are taking the production from the second line and multiply it by the matrix A. Now in the line 4 we are checking if the vector vab that we obtained on the third line is equal to c multiply by the vector v. And if so, we return true, else we return false. Alrighty. If a multiply by b indeed equals to the matrix c, then for any binary vector we would get that 
the vector v multiplied by the matrices AB equals to the vector v multiplied by C. It is possible, however, that despite AB is actually not equal to C, we would select such a vector that fulfills the condition the vector v multiply AB equals to the vector v multiply C anyway. Therefore, we will repeat the process log n times, and if during one of the runs we would get false, then we can return false with confidence. Each multiplication of a vector multiplied by a matrix takes O n to the power of 2. We are performing this process three times during the algorithm of this. Anyway, during the algorithm, hence the runtime is O n to the power of 2, and with amplifying O n to the power of 2 multiplied by log n. I haven't proved the accuracy of the algorithm, a necessary step when you are required to prove a correctness of a Monte Carlo algorithm. But in a nutshell, among all 2 to the power of n possible binary vectors from the size of n, no more than half of the possible vectors can result in a false positive for any given matrices. Hence, the accuracy of the algorithm is more than 1 minus 1 divided by 2 to the power of a multiplied by log n, which equals to 1 minus 1 divided by n to the to alpha, when accuracy of 1 indicates a, def a definite correctness. Well, that's about it. I hope you learned something new from this video, and please comment below with your thoughts. First degree studies in university are all about social studies, and this project comes to encourage that, even through complicated situations most of us are going through right now. Please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, good luck.